Yo, so dude, so were you reacting to this Jenny. again? Can you say in one this used to be my hold up and pause this. This used to be my most popular before it got over took in by I think it was the kitty and the freaking um what was it? Squidward on chair. Rip this video. Well this Um, you know what I mean. Can you say why America is the greatest country in the world? Diversity and opportunity. Lewis? Uh, freedom and freedom. So let's keep it that way. Well, the New York Jets. <laughs> no, I'm going to hold you to an answer on that. What makes America the greatest country in the world? You know, this kind of reminds me of my vice principal. I freaking hate that dude. He can go to hell. And all the other people he freaking did this to can beat the living out of him. I don't care. I don't care. I'll encourage violence on him. I don't care at this point. This is what he did. He was like, I know. I'm gonna hold you to answer that. If you don't answer it, you're gonna get in trouble. Like, bruh. Even if it's to the littlest things, like he would do this. I hate people like this. I hate them so much, like, freaking everybody that he did this to, let's just team up, kick his ass, beat the F out of him, break everything he has, all his bones, his intestines, his skull, his brain, his house. <laughs> well, Lewis and Sharon said it, diversity and opportunity and freedom and freedom. Exactly. I'm not letting you go back to the airport without answering the question. It cannot. Have you seen what's going on right now? Very bad, bad. Well, our Constitution is a masterpiece. James Madison was a genius. The Declaration of Independence is, for me, the single greatest piece of American writing. You don't look satisfied. One's a set of laws and the other's a declaration of war. Exactly. Just exactly like my vice principal. Not satisfied until he freaking say what he wants to hear, basically. Even if you're like... <laughs> he, you, you guys understand, right? War. I want a human moment from you. What about the people? Why is America not the greatest the great country in the world, Professor? That's my answer. Yes. <laughs> You're saying yes. Let's talk about fine. Let's Sharon, the NEA is a loser. Yeah, it accounts for a penny out of her paycheck, but he gets to hit you with it any time he wants. It doesn't cost money. It costs votes. It costs airtime and column mm -hmm. inches. You know why people don't like liberals? Because they lose. If liberals are so fucking smart, how come they lose so goddamn always? Hey. And with a straight face, you're going to tell students that America is so star-spangled awesome that we're the only ones in the world who have freedom? Canada has freedom. Japan has freedom. The UK, France, Italy, Germany, Spain, Australia, Belgium has freedom. <laughs> so 207 sovereign states in the world, like 180 of them have freedom. All right. And yeah, you, uh, sorority girl, just in case you accidentally wander into a voting booth one day, there's something <laughs> you should know. <laughs> Look on her face. There's absolutely no evidence to support the statement that we're the greatest country in the world. We're seventh in literacy, 27th in math, 22nd in science, 49th in life expectancy, 178th in infant mortality, third in median household income, number four in labor force and number four in exports. We lead the world in only three categories. Number of incarcerated citizens per capita, number of adults who believe angels are real, and defense spending, where we spend more than the next 26 countries combined, 25 of whom are allies. Now, none of this is the fault of a 20-year-old college. <laughs> Spitting straight facts, not even a lie. And like, all the bullshit that's going on right now in the road heck even bullshit in the past all this stuff how can you even say that america is was 
or was even great in the first place. It was probably great before we even got here with the native people like living here instead of us. Yeah, it was probably great back then. Before we took it over. It was great back then, probably. But you nonetheless are, without a doubt, a member of the worst period, generation, period, ever, period. So when you ask what makes us the greatest country... A lot of periods, but that's kind of how people talk these days. Like, fuck you, period. Leave me alone, period. Why do people talk like this these days? Like, come on. You don't need to say period, okay? You could just freaking stop after every word you say. Don't have to say period. Do you understand me? Like, it's not that hard. Legit, you don't have to say period after it. Like, jeez. Country in the world, I don't know what the fuck you're talking about. Exactly, I don't know what you're talking about. What are you talking about? Yosemite? Ha. <laughs> yo, the f yo. Last time I watched this, I didn't recognize. Well, like, I didn't look at everyone's faces that much, but like, they're like all in shock. Legit, you can see they're like, whoa, this dude's spitting facts, and like. Sorry, this dude's face is kind of funny to me. No offense to you, if you ever find it. <laughs> oh god, okay. Sure used to be. This is where I disagree. But some parts he said I actually agree on, even though I disagree that it used to be great. We stood up for what was right. That's a good part. We s we still kinda do, in a sense, but like, not really anymore. Well, we do, but we have our own little twisted way of doing it. We fought for moral reasons. We passed laws, struck down laws for moral reasons. Yeah. Um, like, in that aspect, we, like, changed some things, added things to make things better and whatever. Because we waged wars on poverty, not poor people. <laughs> poverty and poor people. I kind of put them in the same booth. Not gonna lie. We sacrificed. We cared about our neighbors. We put our money where our mouth... Care about our neighbors... That's a big thing, since like, nowadays, some people, I swear, they're like, who are you? What are you doing here? I've never seen you here before. And you know who exactly who I'm talking about? Them Karens. Them their Karens, bro. Them their Karens, you know? It's like, who are you never seen you before? What are you doing here? And like, even after you get into the house, they're like, well, it's not always, they're like, uh, you probably stole that key or something. Or like, you get in trouble, even if you're just visiting it, or like, you used to live there, like, there's so many problems and stuff. And like, if you get a good part of it, well, like, like a good ending to that part where they're asking you questions who are you why do you even live here and stuff like that and they'll be like oh hi new neighbor I'm glad we're neighbors and stuff like bruh <laughs> and sometimes they even follow you too that's just messed up or call the cops it's just stupid I swear we never beat our chest we put our money where a mouth sacrificed we cared about our neighbors we put our money where a mouth uh, that part, yeah, I, I guess we kind of do now, as well. Were and we never beat our chest. Uh, beating chest part? I'm pretty sure you beat your chest before. 
well like everybody here you know in America and like whatever we built great big things made ungodly technological advances yep that's true we advance very much and with advancing we also got rid of things building stuff had to be taken from this planet just to put it to a different use that's what the buildings are for and stuff like that you know it's like offices gaming other stuff like that you know etc let's go back a bit logical advances explored the universe explored the universe well we haven't really explored that much of it we've barely gone outside of the moon like pretend this is the earth and this is the moon we gone this far like the only way we explored really was like how can i say this was like the robots exact we we send the ships with robots to go explore for us since we can't really send another human out that far and whatever and environments are really dangerous for like human freaking there's like what super fast winds that could like blow you hundreds of miles away cure disease and we Cultivated the world's greatest artist and the world's greatest economy. Greatest economy? I'm not sure about that. But I'll go with that for your answer. And the artist? Bruh, a banana for like a million dollars or something. <laughs> or was it? Is it banana? Banana. No, we could go watch it later. Freaking, it's a search of selling a banana for like a crazy amount of money or something <laughs> we reached for the stars indeed acted like men we aspired to intelligence we didn't belittle it it didn't make us feel inferior um tell that to the 19 uh, was it like 80s people or something where they're like Get out of here, nerd. We don't like your kind here. Yeah, those people kind of belittled it. <laughs> we didn't identify ourselves by who we voted for in the last election, and we didn't... Actually, you kind of do now. You identified yourself as a pedo, Donald Trump. He be touching people. Touching. so easy the scared part mm, I'm not sure <laughs> we were able to be all these things and do all these things because we were informed by great men men who were revered yeah there were a lot of great people back then but now there so many terrible people I don't even like them and like Yo, bro, like, doing all this bad stuff and acting like it's completely normal. Like, bro, it's kind of normal in a way, but, like, stop attacking your own kind. We are all human. He doesn't care about, well, it doesn't matter what language you speak, freaking, like, what color you are. You're still human. This is the human race. And yet, they think it's normal to freaking kill each other. Fight over stupid things. Like we're trying to assert our dominance. Like, bro, is that really needed? First step in solving any problem is recognizing there is one. That is the first step, but 
many don't follow through nowadays only until it like goes viral or something like that and then we start following through like what's the dude named George Floyd the black dude that died I think it was yeah that went viral people started pushing it forward that it is like wrong that he died and whatever America is not the greatest country in the world anymore I don't think it was or ever was enough <laughs> that's how I feel anyways peace out dudes this is I guess you can combine my thoughts from the last video and this video since they're basically the same thing of me reacting to this and whatever anyways peace out dudes see you guys in the next video I'm slowly running out of games to play, stuff to do, and whatever.